never crush it, not luck. God give you one more chance. Amen. That you can come tonight. That you can have a chance tonight. That you could make a decision tonight. Because guess what? Nothing is promised to man. Think. If God take the breath, think. If God don't wake me up in the morning. If there's a sin in our life that it will block us at the door. Until the breath left the body, there is still hope. But if you want that sin, that blockage to be washed away, that nothing but you at the door, Jesus is the answer. King Jesus, there is hope in the Lord. He's an untimed God. He may not come when you want him, but he will be the right untimed. Not to just celebrate and jump up and say Happy New Year, but to take stock and to look into one's life. You see, where do you go from this? How would you continue in this year that he will give us?
us, oh God. Jesus Christ. We need you right now, God. We need your touch, God. Your direction, oh God. Glory. Yes, Lord. Hear us, oh God.
Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my soul. For I have touched the hem of his garment, and his blood has 
Jesus. Praise his holy name. At this time, we're going to call Brother Joel. Come and encourage the church. Look what he went through the 23 and going into the 24 in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. I'm giving God thanks that I'm in this house another time. I'm giving God thanks that he took me through 2023. And in Jesus' name, I'll be there to see 2024. And Brother Stanley said to give what happened in 2023. But I'm not going to give that yet, Brethren, because it's still going on. It's still ongoing. But when the testimony comes, when the testimony... Amen. We're going to be victorious in 2024. Brethren, when the testimony comes, then it will be said properly and in order and in decency. But right at this time, brother, I just want to raise this song. And the song says, If there be no enemy, there be no fight. And if there be no fight, there'll be no victory. If there be no victory, there'll be no crown.
Amen. Brethren, testify in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Yeah. 
If there be no fight, there be no victory. And if there be no victory, there be no crown. And we know that we're here for a crown. We're not here just to dance and feel good. We're not here just to shake a leg. We're not here just to get our blessing for next year and carry on doing what we're doing. But we have to think about what happened this year. We're in this testimony service. Give thanks for what God has done. Because nobody knows the minute or the hour of what's going to come. God never promised us that we're going to have to live to see next year. But I'm not going to pump nobody to worship and to praise God. Because that's each person's individual thing. But I'm giving God thanks for what he's brought me through. And what he's bringing me through. And even though I'm not over what he's brought me through yet. I'm still singing in advance. Because the songwriter says praises confuses the enemy. When Satan thinks that he's going to have us down and cramped up and upset. And in anxiety and depression. When we praise God that will go. The devil will say what's going on. Because we're meant to be upset and crying. But the songwriter says, if your conscience sets you free, pray on. Pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Testify in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen.
And I stand there and I start to feel the feelings come on like a good color. And I remember, that's what I remember. I, Mama said to Reverend Mr. Dixie. And I run to her and kneel in front of her. I don't know what else happened. I don't know what happened after that. But I can tell you from that day, until today I never collapsed in church again. Yeah. What a God he is. Yeah. He said, when the devil say no, Jesus say yes. Yeah. And I mean to continue. I give him thanks because I used to think I'm a walking dead. But I'm telling you that I am alive. Yeah. I am well. And I'm looking to God. We come into 2020. 2024, and I'm God that He will help me through this Christian journey, that He will help me to flourish, that I will bloom, that my life will never be the same. The songwriter said, Never the same again. I won't be the same. From the moment I met this man, Christ Jesus, you left for me to be gone, and I won't be the same again. Yes. 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 Stand by me, mighty God of Daniel. Stand by me. I know you have delivered. Shine on me, shine on the people. Mighty God of Daniel. Stand by me. Mighty God of Daniel. Stand by me. Mighty God of Daniel. Testify and no more standing in Jesus' name. Thank you. 
God thanks for all the testimonies. And at this time, all the rising stars shall come and render a song to the church in Jesus' name. Rising stars to the church in Jesus' name. Praise God. Church, praise the Lord, church. Please pray for us while we sing. Amen. Let's live with Jesus. He lives. He lives. He lives. I know that. Oh, yes, he lives. He lives.
his holy name. Praise God. God give me God's thanks for the rising stars. I must remember to keep them in our prayers in Jesus' name. At this time, we're going to ask for a short exhortation from Brother Dave in Jesus' name. Show exhaltation to the church. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Give it out to the Spirit of God, my pastor, the ministers of Pastor Benjamin, the household of faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Truly, I'm giving God thanks that I'm alive and well in His presence tonight. Amen. Nothing good that I've done, but I'm thanking Him for His goodness. Amen. I'm thanking God that one day that He saved my soul from hell. Amen. I'm thanking God that one day that He died, that I might have life and have it more abundantly. Truly, we have so much to give God thanks for. You might see us rejoicing, but when we think back from the start of the year up until this very minute, what death God has kept us from, what sickness he has healed us from, what protection he has protected us from, what pit and things that, that our enemies put before us to fall in, and God has kept us from falling into it. The sin that we have committed and God has forgiven us. Where we are strayed and don't want to obey him, and he has brought us back to his fall. So much to give him thanks for. I have so much that I have to give him thanks for. When I look over my life as a young man, I could have been dead a long time ago. I could have been dead a long time ago, or I could have been in prison. But I'm thanking God for salvation. I don't just want to tell somebody, whether you're a young man, middle-aged or old, that Jesus is the best thing that could ever happen to you. Your friends and your loved ones are all going to have to leave you one day. They're going to put you down six foot six. And they're going to leave you there one day. But there is a man that goes beyond the grave. Yes. A lot of times we, we look in our life and we think and we live certain ways. And we, we carry on in this life. That, that, that we're going to be here forever. But I want to tell somebody that we're not going to be here forever. Amen. We're only sojourners passing through. And the same way, when I was thinking today when the message was going on. I was thinking today that if you want to leave the UK and go to like America, Australia or Canada, those places... There is certain restriction that they put that if you've committed any kind of crime, no matter how petty it might be, once your name is in the system, they will check everything and they will block you at the door. And it's the same thing with heaven. That if there's a sin in our life, that it will block us at the door. That is man-made rules. And a lot of time, people might preach and, and they carry on that. You can live any hour and carry on any hour and you're just going to get to heaven. But if we look in our natural life, that there's a rule for the workplace. Amen. There's a rule if you're going on the aeroplane. There's a rule if you're not going to another country. So there must be a rule to get into heaven. Amen. But if you want that sin, that blockage, to be washed away, that nothing bar you at the door, Jesus is the answer. Amen. And he has washed away my sin and I'm trying my best each and every day, by his grace, to stay on that straight and narrow way. So I want to tell somebody, give them a chance in their life today. You won't be disappointed. You won't be disappointed. I am not disappointed. I disappoint him sometimes because I'm flesh and I fail. But he never disappoints. He will never fail. So give him a chance in your life today. And you'll never be sorry. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Raise a lively chorus in Jesus' name. When I look around and see what the Lord has done to me. He makes me want to go all the way every day. Sometimes my burdens heavy. Sometimes I can't go through. But when I look around and see what the Lord has done for me. Look around and see what the Lord has done for me. He makes me want to go all the way every day. Sometimes I burn and heavy. Sometimes I can't go through. But when 
praise God. We are giving God thanks. Praise God. At this time, we're going to call some of the brothers then. And I'd like the brothers them to share. And I don't feel that the brothers are sharing. I will stand up and sing a chorus. Praise God. And I feel the brothers them have something to share for what they've gone through 2023 in Jesus' name. And the first one I'm calling is Brother Clifton. Come and share. My brother Clifton. Short exhortation to the church in Jesus' name. I'm giving God thanks and the Spirit of God with our pastors, officers, brethren, visiting friends, greetings in Jesus' name. When I look around and see what the Lord has done for me, make me want to go all the way. All the way. You know, I was reflecting on 2023 and I can say for sure I've got some good days. And I've got some bad days. But all of my good days outweigh my bad days. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to press along, saints. Press along in God's own way. You know, I was just meditating on a scripture. And it's Psalms 39. And it was a prayer request from the man of God. And I remember through that prayer request, I was speaking with my son. And speaking with my son, I was able to explain certain things to him. And it's from verse 4. He said, Lord, make me to know my end and the measure of my days. What it is that I may know how frail I am. Because life full of such uncertainties. We don't know what 2024 is going to bring. Amen. It is full of uncertainties. Regardless of all we want and want to achieve. But we never know what it can bring. And this is where I say to my son. Yeah, he called me on Christmas day and I was talking with him. And I said, you know, as a, as a teenager... Going into adulthood, I said, adults start at 18. I say, but there's a transition between 18 to 20. So I said, adults start at 20 for me. And I said, retirement is 65. But I said, let's put it to 70 because at times people are very productive up to 70. And I said, so between 20 and 70, that's 50 years. Yes. And I said to him that, Everyone have a guarantee 50 years to be productive. Yes. Yes. Everyone, I said 50 years to be productive as a minimum. I said, what you do throughout that 50 years? I said, your inspiration, your goals, your aspiration, what you want to achieve is only you can make it happen. Amen. I said, you can get the support and the guidance, which is up to you. Amen. I said, it doesn't mean that the old 50 years you're going to achieve. Sometimes you're going to fail. Amen. But even if your foot don't touch the ground yet, and you reach even 30, you have 40 years to still achieve your goal. Right. And he said, help me to know how frail I am. Help me to know how frail I am. Because further on in life, there's lots of obstacles in the way. A lot of things to set you back. Amen. But it doesn't mean when you're set back, you can't start. Amen. You can't start again. You yes. say so you have to have that mindset. Yes. They know that even if you're 30, 40, there's a lot of time ahead of you. Yes. But if God give you that grace and that privilege, but I say to him that you have to push your own way. Yes. I can only guide you. But you have to push your own way. And the sooner you get your foot planted and your mind set, that's the more you will have a chance to advance to your goal. Amen. And I said to us today, regardless of our age, yeah. the more you start to know within that productive years of 50 years, right. where are we going to start from? Right. It doesn't mean that sometimes you're not going to make it right to. Yes, you're going to fail. But failure is not something that you lost. 
Failure is a lesson learned. Failure is something to learn from. Lesson to identify and lesson learned. And for us to put, push forward. And especially for the younger folks, the younger brethren. Take heed toward that time period. 20, you have 50 years. 30, you have 40 years. 40, you still have 30 years. 50, you still have 20 years. But each time it diminishes. And then the frail part, we remain that have that physical strength at certain age. We remember that may not have that mental capacity at a certain age. Yes. But if we trust God yes. and know that the closer we get, I yes. can still produce. Yes. Yes. Not just in repercussion, right. Right. but also to physically help someone, Amen. mentally help someone, yes. spiritually lift someone. Yes. Because they said, until, until the breath left the body. There is still hope. There is hope in King Jesus. There is hope in the Lord. And if the earliest will start to trust Him, trust God. In all that we do, always trust God. Acknowledge God. He will direct the path. Because he, He's the only one that knows what lies ahead. What lies ahead? This life uncertainty. We don't know what tomorrow may bring. Amen. We're celebrating today. To say the last of the year. Amen. But we don't know what awaits with tomorrow. Yes. And only God knows. Yes. They say trust in the Lord. With all thy heart. Yes. Lean not on our own understanding. Yes. But in all thy ways. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge God for 2024. In Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God, giving God thanks for Brother Clifton and those encouraging words. At this time, we go call Brother Marlon. Praise our come and encourage the church in Jesus' name. Brother Marlon. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Tonight, I greet you all in the awesome name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Before I speak, I'm going to just sing this song. I have a friend so dear to me. His love for me so kind and free. His name is Jesus, Son of God, King of kings, and Lord of lords. I have a friend so dear to me. His love for me so kind and
God, praise be to God. What a wonderful thing to give praise unto God. You know, everyone is looking back over their life. Because God has done something for you. Amen. The Bible tells me that before I was formed in my mother's womb, he knew me. Yes. He died on Calvary, not for his sin, but for my sin. Yes. For my sin, he died on the cross. Yes. Praise be to God. And today I'm here not because of the goodness that I have done. Because there's no man that is good. But only Jesus Christ is good. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Because he came to this world. Yes. Amen. And he came, he didn't commit any sin. But yet still they crucified him. Yes. Praise be to God. For I was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Yes. In sin did my mother conceive me. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. But I am clean through Jesus Christ. Amen. Psalms 119 verse 9 said, yes. Thy word. Psalms 119 verse 9 says, Thy word is I'm clean through thy word. Amen. Praise be to God. Thy word, through the word of God, I am clean. Amen. Praise be to God. You know, if you have his word in your heart, you know, I remember when I just got baptized. Praise be to God. And I walk, I was walking. You know, I, 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 it, it, there's a difference in my life as a young man walking with Christ. Yes. Praise be to God. People would see me and, and say, that, look at him. Look at my glow. But it's not me. It's the Christ that is within me. Amen, amen. He said, he will brutify his meek. You do what? Salvation. And when you come to Christ, it doesn't matter what you are. Christ is going to cleanse you with his word. Amen. He's going to renew you both in mind, body, and soul. Amen. Praise be to God. You know, tonight I, since week I was looking on this scripture. Praise be to God in um, Genesis 24. Praise be to God. And when I look at it, I realize that, amen, when you're in an oar as long as you are high up, and you are serving God. Amen. Your servants that are with you are going to know God also. Praise be to God. Abraham had a servant. Praise be to God. A servant that was high above every other servant. Praise him. Abraham, one morning, Abraham, our day or night, Abraham called him. He called him and said, I want to make a promise. That you would not take any daughter from any other nation, from Canaanites where we are, to get my son to marry. Abraham said, I'm gonna put your tie, your hand under my tie, so that you make that, so we make that promise. Amen. And the scripture goes down, amen. And he said that he made that promise. Abraham said to him, Remember. Do not allow my son Isaac to marry any other nation. You have to go back over where I came from to find a wife for my son. The servant said, pre adventure, the, 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 the lady don't come with me. So if the lady don't come with me, then your promise that you made won't valid. I'll be free of that promise. Abraham said, okay. You'll be free of that promise. The servant, praise be to God, he started to pack up everything. I said, I'm going to go to where my master family come from to find a wife for his son. The servant didn't ask anything else, but he started to pack up camel, everything, care goods, and everything. Praise be to God. The Bible tells me that when he reached to his destination. The servant start to pray in his heart. Yes. Amen. The servant start to pray in his heart. Amen. That tells me that the servant knew who God was. Yes. Amen. I can imagine, 
Amen. It is the same servant that went with Abraham when he was offering Isaac a sacrifice. I can just imagine that it was the same servant. So the Bible tells me, amen, that the servant started to pray in his heart. And he started to pray. Remember, in my prayer in our heart, in our prayer that nobody hear, my prayer in our heart. Yes. Praise be to God. Because God knows the heart. Yes. Praise be to God. When you think that you think some things in your heart and God don't know, God knows. Amen. Even if I don't know, pastor don't know, the evangelists don't know, the ministers don't know, God knows what's in your heart. Amen. Praise be to God. So the servant start praying his heart. Yes. Praise him. And we start to pray in his heart. He said, and he said, oh Lord God, my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master. Abraham, yes. praise be to God. Move along. Behold, I stand here by the well of water. Yes. And the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. Yes. In those days, praise be to God, there is a well in the community. Yes. Where the daughters of the men will go and gather water to bring back home. Yes. So the Bible tells me that Rebecca, praise be to God, went to the well that specific day. Yes. yes. When the servant saw the, 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 the young damsel, the servant was pleased. He said, what a lovely lady. Oh, she look nice in my words, even though it's there. He said, what a sweet young daughter. He could be my, 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 my master's son, wife. Remember, I already pray already, you know. Yes. And he, and he hides. Oh, yes. he, you, know, you know, when you pray for something and when it comes, you can feel the connection with it. You can say, yes, God, do this for me. Yes. So the servant realized, say, yes, God work out something for me, man. God come through for me. Praise be to God. So the servant, and it came to pass before he had done speaking. Listen, he were nothing finished. Come out, I'm out yet. Yes. You know, finish, come out, I'm out yet. And it come true. Yes. Sometimes God work, work, God no work like how we want him to work, you know. He's an untimed God. He may not come when you want him. But it will be the right on time. Sometimes you pray for something over here, evangelist. And he can't come here and wonder, why go on? But God has got coming to right on time. Then you're going to say, what time? Then the final last year, I pray for this. So he come now. The last year, I should have get it. But it's not about you. It's what God released to you. So the servant get his heart desire. Praise be to God. God work in mysterious ways. Praise be to God. Praise him. He may not come when you want him. But he will be there right on time. Continually to believe in him, trust in him. There are sometimes you trust and you 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 you're gonna feel a little bit low. So you 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 know that you know that strong. But trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to your understanding. The, the Psalms 27 said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Psalms 40, verse 1 said, I will patiently on the Lord. And he heard me and he delivered my cry. He brought me up out of a miry clay and set my feet upon a rock to steer. Yes. Praise be to God. Yes. Praise be to God. So continually trust him. Continually live for him. Because oh, yes. he's an untimed God in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. I'm looking for Brother Adrian. I can't see him. Amen. Brother Adrian. Praise God. Brother Adrian. Praise Amen. God. Give Amen. God thanks. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. And I've been looking for Brother Tom after this. I can't Amen. see him. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Each and every one in Jesus' name. Amen. I knew Brother Stanley was going to call me. I thank God for tonight. Amen. Truly. Um, my heart is racing. But yeah, I give God thanks that he allowed me to see such a day as this. All the way from January until now. You know, Brother Stanley said, you know, to talk about where God has brought you from this year. And I'm truly grateful tonight that I could be here because, you know, I could have lost my life along the way this year. Fell asleep behind the steering wheel, coming from work. 
But I'm giving God thanks. Amen. But, you know, there, there's something that I want to share tonight. Um, in the, the book of Joshua, chapter 1. Yes. You know, when, when God called Moses up into the mountain and showed him all the plains. You know, this, uh, this uh, chapter before this. And now after the, the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun. Moses ministering servant, saying, Moses, my servant is dead now. Therefore arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, Amen. even to the children of Israel. But pre-adventure before that, when God took Moses up, because Joshua, you know, he was a, a servant of Moses as they traveled out of Egypt. You know, and when, when Moses died, and I was looking into it, and then, you know, he went up, he showed him the promised land and all, everything. Yes. But the Lord took him. But then God spoke to Joshua. Yes. He said, no, you know. Moses is dead, my servant. Yes. You know, and then he starts to speak to him and he's letting him know, if you follow me, yes. you yes. know, I will bring you, I will carry you just like how I led Moses. Yes. You know, from all the way out of Egypt up until now. Amen. But the thing that really caught me was, you know, he said, you know, he spoke to him in a sense that, what Moses has done, he has done his time. Yes. Now I'm looking to you to lead my people. Amen. You know, and I was looking into it and I said, God, just like how Joshua yes. was there ready and waiting for yes. such a task to do. I pray that my heart will be ready at that moment. Amen. When the Lord says to do, I will do. That I won't back down, but that I will stand firm because I know that the Lord is with me. Amen. You know, and I'm truly giving God thanks tonight because it's truly a privilege to be here tonight Amen. amongst everybody. Amen. It could have been otherwise, but God had mercy upon my soul Amen. that I could be here tonight. Brethren, I just want to say God has brought us from January if you can look into one's life tonight and see all the obstacles that you had to climb over, that you could be here tonight. If it had not been for the mercy of God, where would you be tonight? And I'm saying, let us not take it as if it's of you, but it's of the works of God. Sickness could have taken us away. Problems could have taken us away. But God was there. Amen. But as we're looking to go into a year that we know nothing about. Amen. We don't know what we're going to expect in 2024. But as Daniel and the Hebrew boys, as they went into the fiery furnace. Amen. They had God with them when they went in there. So as we're about to cross over into another year, let us cross over with Jesus Christ in our heart. That what may come, God will keep us. That God will direct our steps to keep us another 12 months, brethren. So many has lost along the way. But yet still, we are still here. God has made it possible, brethren. God has made it possible for us to be here. Amen. Our coming tonight is not just coming. God had it to be so. Yes. That we will hear these words of the brethren. Not to just celebrate and jump up and say Happy New Year. Amen. But to take stock and to look into one's Amen. life. You see, where do you go from this? How would you continue in this year that he will give us? Would we continue in a way that we have continued up until now? Would there be any changes within us? 
Yes. Amen. Would we bow down and accept? Yes, God, I want to follow your way. Yes. Amen. Or would we continue in the same old way? As the children of Israel turn, God always sent an adversary against them to get them back in line. But many never make it. Would you be that tonight? Or would you accept God? Look into one's life, brethren. I'm looking into my life. I want to be closer than how I am close today. I want to be more rooted in Christ Jesus than I am, how I am today, yes. rooted in him. Yes. Salvation is not easy, but the ending result is yes. worth it. Amen. 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 It's better than a monthly paycheck. Yes. That when we get up in the morning and we said, yes, put on our clothes and we get ready to go out to work because we know what we're going to get at the end of the month. But what we're looking for is to reign with him. The one that who saved us from sin. The one that who can transform one life tonight only if you believe. Only if you can open up your hearts tonight and receive him. I was once like this, brethren. I used to come in a quarter to twelve. Just to say, I started the year in church yes. and that the prayers of the brethren would carry me through. Amen. But many has done the same thing, brethren, but Amen. they're not here today. Amen. Let it not be too late. Amen. Let it not be too late, but tonight, brethren, Amen. look into one's life and see what God has done. Touch somebody. See what God has done tonight, brethren. Amen. And those who don't know Christ to be their personal savior. Yes. Look that God has kept you through so much this year. Amen. It wasn't of your own strength, but it was only by his grace and mercy. Amen. Many could have lost their mind. Many could have went to prison. You know, that many could have, you could have done many things, that is true. but yet still, God allows you to be here tonight. Amen. He's calling my children, come home. Amen. Amen. Come home. Amen. Harden not your hearts tonight. Amen. But I pray that you will accept him tonight before you leave this place. Because we do not know what the next 12 months may bring. You pray my strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Lord. Giving God thanks for Brother Eglin and those Thank encouraging you. words. At this time, we will call Brother Tom. And after Brother Tom, it will be Brother Allen. And after Brother Allen, all the brothers will get together to render a song to the church Praise in Jesus' God. name. Amen. Pray, God, so you have time to think what song you're going to sing. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise, Praise the Lord, church. Praise Give honor to God, with my grandmother and pastor, ministers, officers, visiting friends. As my brother Adrian was, was, was preaching, or I would say, as he was giving the word, if I wasn't in church, I would have come to the altar. Amen. Because if he was preaching truth, and he was preaching real. Now, the Bible says, when whoever is coming to God first, who is coming must first know who you are coming to. Amen. And tonight, you are not coming to the pastor. You are not coming to the minister. That is right. You are not coming to me because I didn't invite anybody in here tonight. That is right. And I know from my mind that nobody can force nobody to do nothing that they don't want to. So, you're in here because of your own accord. Amen. That is right. Now, yeah. what you can get tonight, yeah. King Charles can't give it to you. Amen. Prince Harry, none of the million or billionaires cannot give that to you. Amen. 
The older man can't give that to you. That is right. The big man can't give that to you. Amen. They need it themselves. Yes. All of them need Jesus. Yes, that's right. Amen. What do you think? All of them won't go get God room because they don't want the dead. Mm-hmm. They want protection. Yes. Why do you think they have the big security system in their house? Because they want protection. Yes. Why do you think they have guards with guns and everything? Because they want protection. That's Why do you right. think they have the royal guards? Because they want to have protection. Yes. They want to sleep peacefully and comfortably at night. Amen. But guess what? Come on. That can't help. No. no. Amen. Nothing can stop death when it's coming. Amen. It's only Jesus have the key to death and hell. Amen. And only him can protect you. Amen. And only him can save you. Praise him. I guarantee you. Amen. That's right. Why what happened to you? Is not lucky. You're lucky. Yes. When the shop misses, it's not luck. Amen. When the knife never catches, it's not luck. Amen. When the car never crashes, it's not luck. Amen. God give you one more chance. Amen. That you can come tonight. That you can have a chance tonight. That you could make a decision tonight. Because guess what? Nothing is promised to man. Amen. Only death. Only death. It says appointed once for man to die. That's the only thing we guarantee of. Amen. And after that comes the judgment. But there's hope in King Jesus. As the minister said, you have to die. But you have a choice. Whether you reign in hell Amen. or you reign in heaven. Amen. No, when you're in hell, he says it can't, it's total torment. Amen. Amen. Where they say the world never die and the fire never quench. Or you can reign in heaven yes. with Jesus Christ. Where they say the street is paved with gold. Yes. Now, if I say you, if I say you're a fool, you might take off your shoes and start to stone me. Yes. I say, I'm going to dish me. I'm going to dish me. I probably want to take some big stone and stone me. Teach him. But, yes. what would you choose tonight? Teach him. Suffering is a must. Amen. The way the world around, suffering is a must. Amen. Problem is a must. Sickness is a must. Amen. Something must rock your body. Amen. Amen. So, would you prefer or would you rather yeah. suffer and hurt, die and continue suffering? Yes. Come on up. Or will you Bless him. know that this mortal body, yes. as the minister was saying, it goes up to about 70. Yes. It can't go no further. Amen. This generation is not like the, our grandparents we have got 90 over 100. Lucky if we make it to 50. Yes. Amen. So while you have that time, yes. when, listen, they already stop. Now let me just take a minute to break something down to you. From your child, they already start programming your mind that you must get up early to go to school so that they can Amen. get you into the work frame of mind. Yes. Yeah? So you already programmed to get up, come out to your house, go to school and come home. So they put in a work program in your mind. Yes. By the time you reach, you need already put you in debt. So you are you already start behind. Right. So you already government money. Yes. So they put stress on your brain already. Yes. So they start put chemical injection in your body. Yes. And they say forget about the, the herbal the herbal remedy which is from the olden days which, which is good for you. Yes. So you already owe the government money. You already have chemicals in your body. So your body is not as strong. So you're trying. Yes. You're trying to make life. Yes. Then you get a wife or a husband. Then you have bills to pay. Because they said light bill have to pay, water bill have to pay, and you have to eat food. So you are already stressed in out. Amen. So you're in a system that designed to break you. Yes. Amen. Already designed to pull you down. Amen. But as I said tonight, there is hope. There is hope in King Jesus. As I said when my brother Adrian was talking. My heart already pricked. I'm like, I feel it because what he says is real. Amen. 
What do you want tonight? What do you want for the coming here? Is it money? Is it fame? Is it the hot girl on your arm? Is it the handsome boy? Yes. Is it the flashy car? Mm-hmm. It has to fail. It must fail. Amen. And it can't go in the grave with you. No matter how much money you make, your family ever get it. Amen. They're spend it. Right. They're going to enjoy it. When you stress out and have stroke and drop down and your family are gonna drive a nice car. Jesus. And your wife are gonna bring in a new husband in the house. Jesus. That's reality, isn't it? But Jesus Christ go with you beyond the grave. A true friend indeed. Amen. As your brother said, they came to the grave and they shed the crocodile tears. And they put two lick and say, That's for my homie. Rest in peace. And then go on to the next rave. Yes. 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 Amen. And then move on to the next thing. Yes. And the next movement. And then do the next thing. Yes. Help me, Jesus. And, then, and then you. But with Christ Jesus. Yes. He goes with you beyond the grave. Yes. Would you choose him tonight? Would you choose a friend that goes beyond this world? Yes. I said, the money can't help you. The doctor himself who, 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 who is doing the surgeon and doing the operation, he need help too. Yes. The, the police and the soldier, they need help too. Yes. The King Charles himself need help too. Yes. If, he, if he never need help on poor fool, he wouldn't have, have spent so much money on doctors and lawyers and everything. Yes. They all need help. Amen. Everything that breathes in this world need help. Amen. Everything that comes into this world through a woman have a starting point and have an ending Amen. point. Amen. So the, the, if not, as I said, if not how you start, it's how you finish. That's right. Because we know how every human being has to start. You have to come through a woman, not to tell her nothing else. Amen. But when you go in, yes. How you gonna go? Amen. How you gonna go? Amen. Well, I'm imploring you. I'm taking this word for myself because I know that I'm imploring somebody tonight is only King Jesus can save you. Amen. And as the brother said, there's benefit. Because as, as the brother was reading the scripture up there, before you even finish the prayer, Jesus come true for you. Yes. Many testimony, there are money in the, in, in no food in their house, and by the time they go outside, somebody not there do a food come. Amen. Feel sick in their body, and somebody just sl- pass and bust. Oh, yeah. Ain't gone. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Healing instant cancer. Heal. God bless you. Amen. I hope tonight you don't be that fool. I hope tonight you be the wife and choose Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise his holy name. Giving God thanks for Brother Tom and those Amen. in Corinth. Right this time we go call Brother Alan. Praise God. Come and strengthen the church. Praise God in Jesus' name. And all the brothers, get ready to render a song in Jesus' name. Praise God. Get ready. Praise God. Find a song. Find a song for us to sing. Praise the Lord, church. Bless the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. I want to greet my pastor, greet your lovely saints, visiting friend, Pastor Benjamin, and all man say, friend, greeting in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. I I thank God for mercy. Amen. Amen. This song said, mercy, dear, and grace was free. Pardon was multiplied to me. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Amen. I look through the here, and there's a lot of things happening, but I don't want to dwell on that. Praise God. There's a lot of things happening. I could come and I could go through numbers of stuff that happened to me this year. But I give God thanks that I'm still alive. Praise God. Bless the Lord, church. Amen. I remember Job lost everything he had. Bless the Lord, church. Amen. And he said, though they slay me, yet will I trust him. Praise God. 
Amen. You may go through tribulation this year. You may reach a stage that you maybe couldn't pay your rent or your mortgage. But you're still here. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God has kept us in this country. Many of us. You know, we came here and through the coal and the toil. Amen. I remember I, I came here 23 years ago. I came here as a young boy, yes. strong, yes. fit, yes. I'll just running off. Yes. But now I've started to feel pain yes. all over my body. Because the system, as Brother Tom said, the coal and the bills and everything yes. start to take toll. Yes. Yes. Amen. You not hear me, somebody? Yes. Everything start to take toll. Yes. And you start to get toll. Before you're young, yes. praise God. Amen. Arthritis starts setting. Yes. Your foot starts hurt. Yes. You start to feel a pain here. Yes. Because everything. Right. Stress. Do yes. you know stress can give you pain? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes when the stress set in, and you go to the doctor, and the doctor fill you up with tablets for your stress. It start to give you a depression tablet yes. because you start to have foot pain. Yes. Praise God. Praise. Careful of those tablet church. Praise, Praise God. So Bless the Lord. Yes. We have to set our affection on things above yes. and not on things of the earth. Because hurtly things surely will fail. But God never fail. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you something. I remember a couple weeks ago, um, you know, I came in and my wife do certain things to the house. And believe me, Bridget, I've been coming in from work and don't even see it. So she said to me, have you not noticed something different? I said, what? Because your mind yes. so programmed. Yes. Because you remember as you pay this bill, yes. the next one come. Yes. Your mind is so. I didn't even see church. I walk in the kitchen. It's in front of me, but I don't see it. Amen. Because your mind yes. is so programmed, Pastor. Yes. It's so fixed. And the next bill. Yes. And believe you me, they come fast. Yes. Amen. Amen. Fix your mind. Because the only thing that we have to preserve us is our mind. Because if you lose your mind, you lose yourself. Yes. And in this country, it's quick to happen. I see so many young men that I know lose their mind. And they didn't come here like this. Hallelujah. I pray that as we are about to enter a new year that we fix our mind. Hallelujah. Fix our mind. And Jesus. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. Cause when you fix your mind, when you set your mind on that comforter, yes. hallelujah. Too many dangers, oh. toil and sneer. Oh. I have already come. Yes. Hallelujah. Set your mind. Cause when everything fail, when all around us fail, no, hallelujah. So hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be visiting here tonight. You never come here before. But I'm telling you tonight. I'm imploring you tonight. Set your mind. Set your affection on things above. And not on things and hurt. Because hurtful things will surely fail. But Jesus never fail. God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. 
praise his holy name. We're giving God thanks Amen. for brother Alan and those in words. At this time, the brothers is going to render a song to the church. Come along, come along, come along. Amen, amen, amen. Come along, come along, come along. Praise the Lord, church. Praise, Praise the Lord, church. Praise, Praise the Lord, as we're traveling through this pilgrim land. We cannot walk without God holding our hand. And we say, we're going to sing tonight in Jesus' name. Please, as we sing. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Lead me safely to the sinking sand. It is the Christ.
bless the Lord. Amen. That is what we need going into 2024. It's for God to hold our hands. We cannot even walk without Him holding our hands. Give Him a chance in your life. You cannot make it without Him. Give Him a chance in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise His holy name. Praise God. At this time, we're going to collect the evening offering. So we're going to sing a chorus in Jesus' name. Evening offering in Jesus' name.
God on high. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise his holy name. Praise God. Now, Mark the Brooklyn, please stand. Praise God. We're giving God thanks. It's one. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. We are, we are giving God thanks. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And we are giving God thanks that we have in our midst with us. We have Pastor Benjamin with us. And we're like, Pastor Ben, come and give us a short exhortation to the church in Jesus' name. and all the beloved saints, evangelists, in Jesus. It is good to be here tonight. Amen. Worship God. And when I came in, I look on the screen. I saw the scriptures in Matthew chapter 28 and verse 6. Amen. 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 It's the basic of our salvation. Yes. The resurrection. Yes. Amen. Had it not been for the resurrection, yes. Amen, then we would be able to get into the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Yes. So the resurrection is the basic of our salvation. Yes. Amen. Amen. When we look to the scriptures, I ask myself, why God established the church? What was the reason he established the church? For we know that there is only one church. Amen. Amen. We know that there is only one church. And that church, amen, is built by Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And he is the foundation. And there is no other foundation at any one place. Amen. And amen. No man can put you into the kingdom of God. No. No amen. man. Amen. And so, what is the importance of us to be here? And why God established the church? Amen. Amen. We rejoice, amen, praise the name of Jesus, because of what he has done for us. Amen. 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 But there is only one way in which we can enter into the church. Amen. And, amen, I'm not interested in how much money you have. I'm not interested in, in amen, amen, how many houses or so you have. Amen. 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 The reason why I'm not interested in because you can't take it with you. Amen. Amen. You cannot take it to you. So what is most valuable to you tonight? What is the most valuable thing to do? Amen. Amen. Praise the name. This door doesn't open for be a curiosity. It's open for a reason. That is right. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. So that you can hear the word of God. Because you cannot get in no other way but through the word of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. The only valuable part that you have is your soul. Amen. Amen. Your soul is the most valuable and that's why Jesus came. And he died yes. for your soul. Yes. Because one day, Amen. Our brother testified about the pain and all these things that happened. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. 
The devil, when he told Adam, amen, to eat the fruit, yes. amen, the devil thought that the name of Jesus, when Adam eat the fruit, amen, that nothing will happen to him. Yes. Amen. But God said, in the day that thou eatest, oh, hallelujah, surely. you shall surely die. Amen. Amen. That's what God said. Amen. So the devil did not introduce death. Go ahead. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. God told Adam, in the day that you eatest, thou shalt surely die. Yes. Amen. That's what God said. Amen. Amen. But the devil said, you shall not surely die. Amen. Amen. So when Adam ate that fruit, amen, he bring death. To himself. Yes. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And, and death passed unto all Amen. humanity. So the Bible said there is none righteous. Amen. And the devil cannot help us. No. Come on. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise him. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise him. Amen. But God made a promise. And we are living after that promise. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise Amen. Amen. Is that promise? Amen. God promised that I will send, Amen, a Messiah. Yes. Amen. That will redeem, Amen, us back to God. Yes. Amen. Because there is no man, Abraham was good enough. Amen. None of the patriarchs, none of them was good enough. Amen. To bring us back to God. So God himself, amen, have to make a way in order to bring us back to him. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Until, amen, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. God said, amen. The angel said, amen, praise the name of Jesus. Visit Mary. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And say you shall bring forth a child. Yes. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Now the angel told Mary how it's going to happen. But Mary said, I don't know, man, how it's going to happen. Amen. But God said, you shall bring forth a son. Amen. Amen. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sin. Amen. God made that promise. And the promise go from ages to ages. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. But God kept his promise. Amen. Amen. And so when Jesus came, Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. When Mary was carrying the baby, how could Mary explain to Joseph? His exposed husband that I'm with child. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. How could he, how, he, how is she going to explain that to him? Amen. She couldn't explain it to him. And so he decided to put her away privately. Amen. But God intervened. Yes. Takes God. Yes. Only where is God. Amen. Amen. And God said, Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Fear not. Take unto Mary thy wife. For that which inside of her is of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So from then on, the devil, Amen, knew that Jesus would come to save. So he wanted to block Jesus. Yes. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Saints, amen, praise the name of Jesus. You only have one soul. Yes. And Jesus, amen, when he came, he said, For God, so loved the world, amen. that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, amen. oh, thank you, Jesus, amen. is open up for everybody. Amen. Whosoever. But there is only one way that you can get into the kingdom of God. Amen. Jesus said, I am the way, 
truth. Amen. The truth. So there is only one truth. Amen. And Jesus is the truth. Amen. Amen. So how? Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. So when I look and see what was written there, Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. The Jews believe that after, Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. After three days, yes. then no man can rise can again. Rise. True. Amen. Yes. And but Jesus said, three days you shall rise again. Amen. But the Jews didn't believe that. Amen. Amen. And so, Amen, praise the name of Jesus. When the wise men went to, to visit the child, Amen, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Herod didn't want to know about the king, but it was not really Herod. It was the devil working to stop Jesus. Amen. Want to kill all. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise him. But God moved. Yes. Moved the child. Great. And took him down. Yes. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. So the sacrifice that was needed for our sin, that no man could do it because all men contaminated. Yes. Amen. All of us were sin. That God so loved the world yes. that he gave. So we can rejoice tonight yes. with a true Amen. and free salvation. Yes. It's only one way to enter into the kingdom. Yes. Amen. Jesus said, You must be born, be born again. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Takes the new birth. Yes. And tonight, the name of Jesus. I want to say tonight, Amen. The singing is good. Amen. The dancing is good. That is true. But make sure that you're born again. Amen. Right. Amen. The only one way you can be born again. Oh, yes. You got to repent Amen. of all your sins. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Without that, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For the removal of your sin. Yes. Unless you're baptized, it doesn't matter how much you may pray and call, that sin will not remove. Amen. You're buried in water baptism. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said, Amen, before Jesus died, they pierced his side. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Praise oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise him. I'm coming down. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. They pierced his side. That is right. Amen. And when they pierced his side, the Bible said it came blood and water. Yes. Amen. What was the significant for the blood and the water? And the water? Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. You got to, amen, have the blood. Amen. And you have to have, to have the water to enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Without the blood, so when we bury you in water, amen, praise the name of Jesus, it signifies that the death, burial, and resurrection, amen, so you got to be buried in the water. You have to cover Some in the water. That's right. That is right. That is right. And you rise. Amen. To walk in newness of life. Living a righteous and sober life in this. That is right. Amen. Amen. That is what the church is all about. Yes. To save your soul. Yes. Because make no difference. Amen. The Bible said, Amen, that the living know they will die. Amen. But that they don't know nothing. They don't know anything. Don't know a thing. Amen. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. But the living know 
that one day we're going to die and after death Make sure that you baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For the removal of your sin. And yes. God promise you yes. that you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You don't have to worry and fight for it. No. It's a gift. It Amen. Is a it's gift. a gift. Amen. 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 It is a gift. You don't have to worry. Amen. Amen. As long as you to repent of your sin and right. desire to live a righteous and sober life, even right. God will do the rest. Amen. Amen. No man can give you the Holy Ghost. Neither you don't want it from no man. Amen. amen. I remember when I was growing up, amen, many people said, amen, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Pastor, Bishop, tell me, hey, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. The things that you are doing in the church, it got to be the Holy Ghost. I said, I don't have no Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. When God fills you, yes. you will know. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise, Praise God. We're giving God thanks for Pastor Benjamin and those encouraging words. At this time, we're going to call Brother Al. Come and encourage the church in Jesus' name. Brother Al, in Jesus' name. Praise God. I'm looking for Brother Ian. I can't see him. Praise God. Praise the Lord, church. Praise God. Praise God. I honor the Holy Spirit of the living God, the head of my life. I greet our pastor, all saints, visiting friends. Praise God. I greet all God's holy people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's a song on my heart that um, I want to sing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Come and lay down the burden you.
It is recorded, praise God. And I want to encourage somebody tonight. You know, there is books in heaven. Books called the book of life. The book of record. Praise God. There is also books on earth. When we born, our name go into a book. It's called the register. The birth registration. When we marry, our name go down into a book. Amen. When we die, our name go down into a book. Yes. Amen. And as it is on earth, there is also that's how it is in heaven. Amen. There is books in heaven. And one day those books are gonna open. And the Lord is saying to somebody tonight that the 24 next year gonna be faster than this year. Yes. The days are shortened for the elect's sake. Amen. Amen. We have the truth, the church. We have the truth. Amen. We have the truth. The secret of the Lord is with them that diligently seek Him. Amen. The secret of the Lord is with them that diligently fear him and seek him. Yes. We got the truth, praise Amen. God. So don't take yourself for granted. The days are shortened for the elect's sake. Right. And there is two resurrection. Yes. And this day is recorded, praise God. Right. Daniel 12, verse 2, praise God. Many shall sleep in the dust. The yes, of the earth. There's two resurrection, Reggie. Right. When the church resurrect, the dead will be still there. Yes. Amen. There's two resurrection. So don't take church for granted. Let us not take church for granted because this day is registered. And God is going to remind us of this day. God is here. I used to be like somebody that go in the church quarter to 12, as Brother Adrian says. We were there. We praise God. We said we want to have money. 12 o'clock money catch us in church. Um, 12 o'clock catch us in church. We got money in our pocket. And as, and as 12 o'clock come, we come out of church. Yes. We made promises to God. We forget about it. We can't wait to go back to our whole lifestyle. Praise God. I remember 1999, I do an operation. As I, as I went to Kingston Public Hospital, they do a scan. And they said, we got to do an emergency operation. I said, what's wrong? They said, the appendix burst. And they give me a paper to sign, Gretchen. And I said, what is for if you're dead? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Just in case you die. Come on now. I'm scared, you know. I don't want to die. I said, God, if you save my life, I serve you. That was a promise I made to God. <laughs> and there was, there was the, 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 the guys them there ready to do the surgery. They put a mask over my face and that was it. I don't know nothing else. I wake up the next morning, praise God. I was string up into this bed. And there was a guy beside me. Of, of about 35 bullet holes. And he said, do you think I'm going to make it? I said, we just have to keep our fingers crossed. My belly already cut out. <laughs> I can't eat, I can't drink. I don't know what to say to this guy. But I make a promise to God. <laughs> but I didn't know what I was saying. All I want to do is just to get out and get back to my lifestyle of living. Yes. That's all I want to do. And God take people all over to minister to me. I wasn't listening. Till I came here. God bless you brother Holland. Brother Holland and I we go secondary school together. We go college together. 
I went to this college, praise God. Amen. And um, they said they can't take me at the college. Jesus. I went back to the college the next day. The principal, she said, oh, Mr. Cole, you're here. Do you have everything? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, come in. Friend, I just, no, we can't take you. We can't take you. There was three chair in front of her office. I go out there and I sit down, hopeless. I said, God! Again. <laughs> Again. Amen. If you love me, prove it now. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I said, prove it now. Amen. The same lady that turned me down a few Amen. minutes ago called me and said, Mr. Cole, you're still here. I said, yes, ma'am. Yes. She said, come. <laughs> and that was it. Amen. God is good. Amen. God is good, brethren. Yes. And today is registered. There's a book in heaven called the book of record. Everything that we do here on earth is recorded. That's why we got to repent every day. Amen. Every day. So every man that born under the sun name is recorded in the book of life. But if we die in sin, then God going to remove it. So on the day of judgment, that book going to open. And any name is not found in the book of life, then they're gonna taste the second death. Amen. It's unfair, you know. The spirit man gonna have to give an account for the flesh, what the fleshly man do. Amen. <laughs> but the, the fleshly man is just an house for the spirit man, praise God. That's right. There's life in the spirit, and there is life in the flesh. Come to Jesus. Come right now. Amen. There's a song, I don't know the, the words properly, but the song said, um, Come unto me, and I will give you rest. Can we sing that song? Come unto me. To me. Come to Jesus. And I, and I will give you rest. Give you rest. Glory to God. Say, I. Say, Yoke upon me, praise God.
Solid. Before we go into the new year, 2024, we're just going to have a word from our mother and pastor as she could close in prayer. Let's say something. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. We have so much to learn. I'm going to close in prayer. You know, that's why we don't bless. Because we're waiting for the other one. And we're waiting for the message. Thank you. You can I can hear better. Yes, sir. Amen. You know we could be so much we could be so much overflow. Filled up. Run over. Some people jump and roll and crying out and shouting for God. Is that what I'm saying? It's not watch night. We watch all the time for some time. We don't sleep. Well, I don't sleep all night. So what was watching? Watch night for me. It's not because um, government sick. It's watch night. When you, when you go to your bed and you can't sleep, it's watch night. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes, so we are gathering together tonight. I heard so much words. Yes. Such a blessed Amen. words. Yes. It's different. Yes. It's such a different. Yes. And I pray to Almighty God. That we don't let the word go in one ear and come out in the next. We not come here dancing the music as the pastor was saying. But I'm looking into my life. If I die tonight, the breath that I breathe is God give me. So me can't tell him what to do. If he want to take it, him just take it. So we have to think about ourselves. Stop thinking about others and think about you. Amen. Then can't tell me save me money. But I mean I want to save it. Nothing to do with them. Amen. Is me gonna want money for buy me house, me car, and buy and go up on holiday and do where me want to do. So you can't stay there talk. And if me no want to save my money and my business, that nothing to do with you. You're not helping me, you only talk. Amen. What I'm saying this way that the word preached tonight is up to you. Amen. Nobody can save you. Nobody can tell you save. You have to know for yourself if you want to turn to God. Nobody can help you. Amen. You got to decide for yourself. Amen. Amen. That's why we don't ever lost and ever lost it. We know, as, as the preacher was saying, that the Holy Ghost telling you, you must feel, you must feel. Then can't feel you. Amen. But then they feel. All them who telling you must feel. They don't feel, you know. <laughs> they don't feel. They would not you must feel. They would know it's a gift. Amen. Amen. They would know that when you turn to Almighty God from your heart, God come in and fill you up the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's a gift. Nobody tell you faith. Nobody tell you you must baptize. When you repent, you ask the baptizer. Praise God. Nobody didn't tell you come. You come because God in you. If you are not saved, God in you. Even if you murder, even if you thief, even if you sell drugs, even if whatever you are, God talk to you. No. Is that the devil bringing here? Is God? Jesus bid you come. And here you are. Yes. Thank God for you. Yes. You heard the word. Nobody have to come, come, pump, pump, and tell me. I would have run them. Amen. Move. I said that to somebody. When I was there, I said, can do, can do. Move. Move. You can't help me. When, when, when she not there, what are we going to do? We have to come to Jesus for me. And it's a good thing. Me come to Jesus for me. Nobody can make me see you. So I don't force you. Decide for yourself. The breath you're breathing is God. When you wake up in the morning, it's Him. No matter what you go through, it's going to bring you. Only believe. Although you don't baptize, I know you prove God. Because you ask favor and God grant you. Remember that. God makes sure that you know Him. That's why he supply your need. God makes sure that you know him. Amen. That's why he speaks to you and you come. So nobody have to force you. Neither me. 
We are to decide for ourselves. Don't run away. The song said, don't run away and hide. Because somebody back home, they were running from church. My husband. He became my husband. And a backslider. But that won't let me tell you. They were calling out the call. And he ran out of the church. Run. Brother Sam. He ran. And he was going to break his neck. Is a backslider catch him and come flee my altar. Amen. Run in. God call him and run it, run, run, run. And he would have broken his neck down there because of dunks and he ran out. The backslider grabbed him and put him out there. And the back never turned to God. So anybody can help. Anybody can talk to me. Anybody. See now, I listen. Because backslider bring him back to God and him lost from him dead, never come back to God. But he bring him and he become a bishop. Amen. And the backslide gone right to it. You gotta close. Think for yourself. Think if you die now. Think. Think. If God take the breath. Think. If God don't wake me up in the morning. And my, and my brain's gone. It's not age. It's God. We gotta stand please. We gotta pray. And to what I heard tonight. What we heard tonight. Every heart should turn to God. I'm not looking on you, brother. I'm not looking on you, sister. I am not talking it for you. I'm trying to if I can help, but may I help me? Amen. Me is number one. God first. I'm here after. Amen. Me have to stand before him. You know why he bring me here? He bring us here to change all of us. Me yes. and everybody. What we hear tonight, we won't hear it next week. Lord Jesus Christ. We won't hear it again. So we're going to pray. You pray as well. Because when I was a sinner, I pray. I pray. I was a sinner. The Monday I, I go and fasting. I asked God to save me. And the, the end of the week, that was a Sunday, one backslider come to my house and invite me over to church. And I went. I get the Holy Ghost same night, filled with the Holy Ghost. And she you know, backslides still and dead, gone to hell. But God use us so anybody can talk to me. Anybody. Me not have to say, what about you? Me say, what about me? Anybody. So we're going to pray. Pray for yourself. God bless you. So glad to see you all here tonight. Go home with the words. God can knock you out in your bed. Don't run. Because God is with you. When you're in your bed, he knock you out and ball out in you. And nobody wants you to pray for you. So you have to make sure you have to pray for yourself. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We thank you for this very moment. We thank you for everyone that come in your house. Lord God, we come for ourselves. We come to give you thanks for what you've done for us. Father, I pray reach our heart, our mind, our ways and attitude. Change us, God, for all of us need a wash in your blood. Not only those who are baptized, but even us right now. We need another touch. We need, oh God, you. Amen. That you fill us up with the Holy Ghost and fire. God, I pray you make us a blessing. That when we speak, God, somebody heart touch. I pray, God, you rise us up. Rise us up. Rise us up. Rise us up. God, and help us to hear. Amen. For you said, they that have an ear will hear what the Spirit said to us. Forgive us, Lord. Cover those that are going. God, let no demons touch them. Let no death come upon them. God, let no knife kill them. Let no gun kill them. Let that, let that junk with jokes. Loose them. Give them the victory tonight. Father, I pray in your name, Lord. Deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them. Right now, deliver them. Speak to the heart and turn them to you. Father, help us. That will be a light and a strength. God, help us to set a good example that others can see and glorify your name. Thank you for tonight. In Jesus' name. Us. Amen. Praise God. We're going to all going to say, Our Father taught us to say, name of Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. Like how we forgive. Like that. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not Help me, Jesus. That's David. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Let me be part of righteousness. Jesus. That's why. I walk by the shadow of death. That was him. Lord, help me. Thou art with me. Stay with me, Jesus. Lord and I staff and comfort me. Yes, Lord. Thou prepares a table for me. Yes. Thou anointest my head with oil. Anoint me, Jesus. Surely, goodness and mercy shall Let it be for me. the days of my life. Help me, Jesus. I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. The song says, Praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Amen. Praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. That's right. Say they'll come to the Father. Yes. Through Jesus the Son. That is right. And give him the glory. Not them. Because great things you he hath done. Him. Amen. And God is so good to us that we could live to see a new day in a new year, yes. in a new month. It's the mercy of God. I want to give God thanks. Amen. Amen. And thank you all for being here tonight. May God bless you. And thank you for your presence. And yes. just want to remind you that we have service here tomorrow, which is Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. We have prayer yes. meeting on Wednesday Amen. at 7.30 p.m. Thursday, we have our Bible study here at 7.30 p.m. We're back on Sunday for Sunday school at 11 o'clock. Yes. Our day worship is at midday. And our evening worship is at 6 p.m. We pray and trust that you'll come and worship God with us. Because we need some help. The Bible said in Psalms 34, said, uh, I will bless the Lord at all time. Oh, His Jesus. praise shall continually be in my mouth. Help me, Jesus. said, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, so that's what we can do on our own. But he said, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us. So we need some help to praise God. So I want you all Amen. to come back to help us praise God. Because God is too big and mighty. We want some help to praise God. We want God Amen. to... Because God is magnificent, so he deserves a magnificent praise. Yes. Because God is mighty, he deserves a mighty praise. Yes. So we ask you all to please come back in the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yes. And God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. And also there's some refreshment at the back. And there's no charge in Jesus' name.